Good morning, my friends, and what a beautiful morning it is. It feels so good outside today in my second office. Um, sun shining. It is a beautiful day. Thank the Lord for that. Um, so today's joke is brought to you by Adriana and a friend. So let's watch this and don't miss the giggles at the end. Okay. What do prisoners use to call each other? Cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Adriana. Hey, this morning I want to read a verse from Psalm 91. And it says, The one who lives under the protection of the Most High dwells in the shadow of the Almighty. We've been talking a lot about how God is our shepherd, how he is always with us. Our quest verse reminds us that he's with us wherever we go. And I love this verse that says, We live under the protection of the Most High and dwell in the shadow of the Almighty. Hey, watch this video real quick about some kids who didn't quite know what their shadow was. Watch this and laugh. Is it following you? It's gonna get you. It's gonna get <laughs> That's your shadow. What are you trying to do? Say hi to your shadow. What's the matter? It's nice, okay? Say hi to it. Man, it's apparently pretty scary when you don't know what your shadow is. I bet you can't even remember being that little and not knowing. But we know what a shadow is, and we know that it's just the sun where the sun is blocked from something that's bigger than us or even from ourselves or or we know what a shadow is. In fact, here in Florida, we love to find a shadow of trees or of a house, find some shade to hang out in because we know that that's cool and that's protecting us from the big, scary, hot sun. Mm -hmm. Guys, here's what I want us to remember today is God is always with us. And this verse tells us that we can dwell in the shadow of the Almighty. To be in the shadow of something, you have to be really, really close to it. And so my question for you is, we're talking this week about spending time with God and loving Him number one in the middle of all this. How do you dwell so closely to Him that you're in His shadow? We've got to make the choice to spend time with Him and to think about Him and give, give Him our attention, to pray to Him. And we're going to keep talking about that, but I want you to have that picture. I love that picture of right now in this time when we can't go to the playground, we can't go play softball, and we can't do all these things that maybe we normally do. We're dwelling in his shadow. We're staying so close to him that we're protected in that shade and shadow of his. So that's my prayer for you today is that you think about and that you imagine yourself in his shadow because we are when we're spending a lot of time with him. Don't forget that we have Quest Online tonight. And parents, we also tonight have Together, which is a live experience for prayer and worship and scripture reading. That will start at 7, so right after we get done with Quest Online, that will start for you on Facebook Live, so you don't want to miss that. It'll be a super encouraging time, and time for us to dwell in the shadow of the Almighty. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you that you are so good, and so great, and so big, and we can dwell in your shadow. We can hang out in that safe place, and Lord, I pray that you'll help us make the conscious effort to do that. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, everybody. Have a super day.